So with Love Island South Africa launching tonight, some of the cast seems to have been leaked and I just thought we should just have a discussion about it because it's just, yeah. Hey guys, it's Murad Murali. Hope you guys are doing well today. Back in again with another video. If you haven't subscribed, guys, click that button for daily and consistent content. Head over to my Instagram, my Patreon, my merch subscribe to the channel and let's get straight into this video so we have um love island south africa which is launching launching tonight around 8 pm we are i believe one hour ahead um so it will just launch well not really launch but it's um being on the, it's being casted on the channel called mnet um i don't think you can actually watch that unless you're live streaming from a different link or somebody you know live streams for you or somebody finds something so if i find a link tonight if i'm able to live stream from mnet then i will try to get a review out tonight but if not it most likely will come out tomorrow just based on the fact that you know there are some difficulties in getting love island in south africa but i just feel like that should be available on a nationwide level um but it seems that it's not now, before I want to get into some of the cards that have been revealed, I do feel like um, Love Island South Africa specifically have dealt with this season already quite poorly. Um, and what I mean by that is it's literally launching today and nobody knows who the cast is. Now, if you're going to, you know, branch out and still make Love Island shows in different countries, please follow the same format. And that format is that the audience know who the cast is at least a week before the show starts and that is how it's normally done especially with the og love island from the uk this is just how we do it and that is how that is how it should be done the fact that a new season of this of this show is starting in a different country and we don't know who is going in i think is already i think is quite poor um they also released a picture on or pictures on the instagram account of you know close-ups of the contestants and then they deleted it so the fact that you're uploading and deleting it's like i don't know who's in charge of the promo and the pr but i feel like you guys are doing an extremely poor job and by this we should have at least known who the cast is because knowing of the cast allows people to elicit conversations which brings a kind of momentum for the season as of right now there is zero momentum zero momentum nobody knows who's going in so therefore nobody's really checking for the show until we randomly you know come online on twitter and see a clip from the show and then maybe go get to be retweets then maybe you're like you know maybe I'll, I'll check this out or something like that or if a youtuber like me would review something like maybe i'll check this out at best but the fact that their own system love island south africa isn't allowing people to want to be tuned into it i don't know why they're not releasing the cast i don't understand it it doesn't really make any sense to me like I'm, I, I don't get it because other Love Islands, this is what we do. We you release at least a week before of who was going in, and they're trying to keep our whole secret, and that's just not how it goes. It just isn't. Anyways, here are some of the people. Um, some some people have found this on you know Reddit forums and on Twitter of the alleged cast. I don't know if this is of course official because we don't have an official cast. Um, but this is what I can go off. So these people are alleged. We have somebody called Chris Mouton. Um. People are calling him a Brad Pitt lookalike. Personally speaking, I don't think he looks like Brad Pitt at all. He just looks like Chris Mouton himself. Um, you know, of course, Jim Fit guy, and he's from Cape Town, South Africa. And yeah, he's the first one. All I want to say is this. I do want to see, you know, majority of black people on this cast. I also want to see some Indian people on this cast because there are large populations of Indian people within, within South Africa. I flew to Cape Town quite often. And when I was on the plane, I was like, am I flying to India? Like the way I saw so many like Indians on the plane, I was thinking, where am I going? Like I had no idea of this, but there are a large population. So I also want to see that sector as well. I want to see the, you know, population of the country represented on these dating shows, specifically Love Island, because people from a nationwide level are going to be attracted to it to an extent because of the name. So Chris Mouton seems to be the first person. The next guy seems to be a guy called Durang Tembe who is um, Cameroonian and again, gym fit guy. And he seems to be another individual who apparently allegedly has been confirmed for the show. Third one is a guy called Jay Fremantle from Cape Town. Let's say they're all from Cape Town. Um, another gym fit guy, of course they're all gonna be gym fit, but I'm trying to look for more than just you in, you in the gym. Um, do you know what I mean? But like, I just, I can't really find much, but I guess, you know, Instagram is Instagram. He seems to be another alleged castmate for the season. We then have, um, um, Sibs, his name is, um, another individual from South Africa who is allegedly going to be on the show. My guy loves to wear sunglasses, but, um, yeah, there, he it seems to be another alleged member. We also then have, um, 
Camille, um, who seems to be a Love Islander. I can see her being on the show. I feel like it's, you know, that's that kind of look that Love Island like to go for. She looks like she, looks like she could be half something. I don't know, like Indian or whatever. Not that um, I'm eager to find out all of these people's <laughs> heritage and nationalities, but this seems to be another person who's allegedly involved in the cast. We also have somebody called um, Yuka. Um, yes, okay. So Yuka seems to be another individual. I feel like, you know, typical Love Island kind of look that they're going for. And um, Megan as well seems to be another individual that is there for Love Island. Okay. So I think that these are some, like half of the cast. It's, it's looking very white, guys. Um, nothing wrong with the white cast, but of course, you know, we need, well, yes, I guess there is because we need diversity and we need a reflection of the country um, pouring out onto the dating shows. And we don't want a cast that seems to be digestible to a wider narrative. And that is why X, Y, Z. We know there's serious racial tensions in the country. There's a lot of serious microaggressions. And these things can also easily pour out into the show. And judging by how the Love Island um, South, South African team have already dealt with the season by not even showing the cast, not not good promo and PR. I think that within itself foreshadows that the season may not be that good. So I will attempt to review it only because there's nothing going on right now in terms of reviewing shows. We're in that moment of time. Love Island UK and USA come in the latter half of this year. Um, so I will obviously get into it. If I find it honestly boring, something that I just don't enjoy, I won't continue to review it. That is just what I do. Like I'm just not interested in something like I'm just not. Some people are saying, you know, make some more Love Island USA videos or Justine done this or Caleb done this. I'm over it, guys. I'm, I feel like we need we now need to close that book. I, w I, don't, I don't even want to say chapter. It's a whole book. We now need to close that book, guys. We, we just we have to close it. Put it to the side now and now focus on a new chapter of Love Island and that is South Africa. I don't know if Love Island Australia are getting a third season. I thought that they were, but apparently they're just showing a rerun um, of, the, of, of season two. So I don't think Love Island Australia is being renewed, unfortunately. So that in itself has just gone. But I'm, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm looking forward to the South, South African version, but I'm just intrigued just to know what this could be about and how this could go and just what kind of narrative they pull for people again you know there's six guys six girls so there's a lot more of the cast again i'm not seeing any black women from these alleged individuals so hopefully there are some that haven't been announced i just hope that there is because that in itself is also going to cause a lot of controversy and you know it should and i just feel like they can make this this could be a, a really iconic season for love island in general if they do it right i just don't think that the, i just don't think that they will do it right and that for me seems to be a cause of concern but let's just all hope i know there's a lot of south africans i believe that are subscribed to my channel so of course they will be definitely in tune um so south africa and the uk barely have an hour time difference so it's much better than me reviewing love island usa because i have to be up from 2 a.m to watch it for an hour then from 3 a.m to 4 a.m to film and upload my review like it was chaos my sleeping timetable was absolutely mess for the entire of September and then the next two months because I have to get it back on track. So Love Island USA really just put, you're literally working on USA time. So that in itself just put me on a flip. But South Africa is on the same time frame as UK, so that in itself will help. Anyways, I thought I would do some kind of introduction video for the South, South African version. I know we're all looking forward to something. I thought that's why I would, I'd do it. And if I'm able to watch it tonight, a review will definitely come out tonight. But if not, then tomorrow. Let me know your thoughts are, guys. Subscribe to the channel, click that button, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.